Hi, I'm Herb Sutter, and I have written a lot about C++ and effective concurrency. That's what this course is about, effective concurrency and parallelism. How do I use more cores to get the answer faster? How do I get applications that don't deadlock themselves, that are responsive to users all the time? And it's all about performance and concurrency and isolation, those kinds of things. Oh, well, for one thing, even on a single core machine, to be able to have different parts of your application running independently lets you stay responsive. That's important, even if you've only got a single core. But especially now as we have multi-core, even on smartphones and tablets and on all mainstream hardware, how do we use more cores to get answers faster? So those are two of the key pillars that the course is built around. Everybody is going to have to know this who's interested in mainstream software that has performance as a goal. First, it'll get us familiar with how to reason about those kinds of things that we just talked about. See what patterns there are, anti-patterns, what the tools are, how to use them, the techniques, the pitfalls to watch it for, how to find out if you fall into one of those, how to avoid it in the, in the future, and even best practices to not even get anywhere close to those areas, so to find the happy path of success, so that we can write predictable, reliable, fast code. Well, if people are interested in mainstream programming, and it doesn't matter if it's in C++, Java, C Sharp, or C with P threads, because we cover all of those, it's agnostic to all of those, you, if you're interested in performance on modern hardware, these are things you need to know. So please come, and otherwise there's a lot of effective concurrency articles online I've written that are freely available as well, herbsetter.com, you can find them there, and on Dr. Dobbs, um, but that's the kind of thing we cover, and more and more people need to know this stuff. Well, um, parallelism and concurrency is a very, very uh, important kind of trend that happens in the computer industry. And uh, Cisco is uh, one of the leading uh, companies out there, and we need to be ahead of everybody else. So that's the reason why we are 24 people here today. Well, first of all, concurrency is a really fun problem, and uh, Herb Setter is a really great, uh, great guy, one of my heroes. Well, uh, multi-threading is uh, becoming increasingly important, and it's a subject I'm very interested in. Parallel processing is uh, getting more and more uh, relevant uh, for use in our products. I know a bit about concurrency already, but I want to know more. I want to know more of the details and all the, all the implications of concurrency and parallelism. Well, basically, uh, the recent developments or recommendations with respect to multi-threaded programming is a leading authority in that field. So, yeah. well, it's, uh, basically, uh, Herb Sutter is the best uh, person in the world to learn about these things from. So, um, when he's here in Norway, of course, we will come in. of the instructor. He is very inspiring uh, and he, he, he definitely has a, a lot of experience with this uh, field. Uh, and he, I think he explains the topic in a very pedagogical way. It's very good, excellent. Well, he has been working with this for a very long time and he is also one of the leading C++ experts in the world. Uh, so. When you work uh, close to the hardware, uh, you tend to understand these issues better than most. So, and Herb Sutter has been uh, a famous figure in the C++ environment for uh, well nearly two decades now. So. Herb Sutter is really, really knowledgeable about this and been in the industry for a really long time. And well, it's just a great guy. Well, it has really detailed knowledge about everything. He can back up everything with well, experience. So it's uh, really valuable. I think he's very good, very uh, good at explaining and uh, knows his stuff well and uh, keeps the audience uh, attention. Absolutely. In this day of age, it's it's something you really need to know about, regardless of uh, where you are in the in the software stack. Concurrency is a major problem. 
Yes, I, I do that because he, he teaches in a very pedagogical and thorough way. So it's easy to follow even if you, if, even if you don't have experience with this uh, from before. Multithreading programming is becoming more important with uh, these processors. They don't increase in speed anymore, they just uh, increase with the number of cores. Uh, you probably have noticed yourself. Uh, <laughs> and uh, so it's something you probably cannot avoid uh, if you want your programs to run faster in the future. Yeah. Parallelism and concurrency is something that you thought you learned at university. But there is so many things happening the last few years that you couldn't possibly learn what you learn today at university. So you need to update yourself. 